Join us in the social hall after mass this morning for coffee and donuts and conversation. Also, if you can, join us for parish night on Wednesday, November 9th. Mass will be at 5.30 p.m., followed by a potluck dinner and Father Adam's talk. The Bible and tradition. A nursery will be available for infants and toddlers, and children's activities is also planned. Please see the bulletin for information about our religious education fall break and our 2022 Christmas mass schedule. If uh, David Wentworth, the Catholic Eagles can come forward, we welcome, well, I might have skipped. No, we'll, welcome, we'll welcome David first, and we'll continue more welcomings in our presentations. Okay. <laughs> David. Good morning, everyone. Um, so for those of you who I don't know, my name is David Wentworth. I am the team director of our Focus Missionary team here. Um, I've been serving here for coming up on five years. I've been the team director for the last three years. Um, so FOCUS it stands for Fellowship of Catholic University Students. It's a nonprofit that sends missionaries to college campuses to work with the college students um, and essentially to spread the joy of the gospel on the college campus. So our mission statement is to know Christ Jesus and to make him known. So that's, it's very simple to know him ourselves, to grow in relationship with him, um, and then to be able to share that with others. Um, and Father just invited me to come up here just to share with you guys a little update about how things have been going, how the semester has, uh, has been going as we kind of approach the, the end of it. Um, so, but before I say that, I just, I do want to say thank you to all of you parishioners here at St. Matthew's that have made uh, this parish such a welcoming home for the college students and even for the missionaries during our time here. Um, it's, it's beautiful to welcome students into what is already a vibrant and healthy parish. Um, so that is a testament to you guys and your faith. So I, I thank you for that. Um, so a couple of things. This semester has been really exciting. Uh, I think the very beginning of the year, we had our first student dinner. And I think we had more students than we've ever had attend. Um, and the numbers have continued to grow in that way. Um, one of the big things that my team and I do to reach students and to, to share the good news of Christ is through leading Bible studies um, and also through uh, ongoing mentoring and discipleship of the students that come to these Bible studies. So right now we have 21 different Bible studies, men's and women's, going on each week, 21 Bible studies all throughout the week. Um, and I think 14 of those are being led by students that we're actively mentoring in discipleship and, and teaching the skills of how to lead others to Christ. Um, so in those 21 Bible studies, we've seen around 160 students come this semester. Um, and again, we're only halfway through the school year. So that's really exciting just to see what God is doing um, through our efforts here on the campus of Georgia Southern. Um, so if you want to find out more about that, please come talk. My, myself and my teammates, Sophia and Marissa, will be in the back after Mass um, if you want to find out more about what we do. Um, but while I'm up here, I want to talk to, I see some college students here, um, and I want to talk to you guys specifically. And Noah just got confirmed, and the Sacrament of Confirmation is specifically a sacrament where we call down the Holy Spirit right upon um, a growing Christian. And the Holy Spirit, Jesus says, is our advocate, someone who advocates for us um, and also guides us throughout our life. So I want to make three invitations to all of you college students, ranging maybe from easiest to hardest. Um, and I want you to think of these invitations as maybe a prompting of the Holy Spirit in your life right now. So number one, we have a student dinner tonight at 6 p.m., free food. Uh, so even though you've already been to Mass, come back out for the free food tonight at dinner. I will be there, and I would love to talk to you more. So that's the, the easiest. The second, um, so like I said, these weekly Bible studies. Um, I would really encourage you guys, Bible study in my own life was a way for me to really come to know the person of Christ um, and to become accustomed to, to getting to know him more and more as I read scripture. So I encourage you guys to come to a Bible study, come back to a Bible study. If you haven't tried it out before, just give it one shot and, uh, yeah, see if you like it. So come talk to missionaries in the back. Um, to find out more about that. And then lastly, like I said, possibly the biggest invitation, um, we have our upcoming national conference called SEEK, and it's going to be January 2nd through the 6th. So that's the last week of your 
Christmas break, um, so you will have to sacrifice one week of your break, but I promise you it will be well worth it. Um, we're going to be taking a bus of students from St. Matthew's, from Statesboro. We're going to be going to St. Louis, Missouri, um, which is a 12-hour bus ride, so get excited for that. Um, and we're going to be spending the week at the very beginning of the year, in the beginning of this new semester, coming to learn how we can put Jesus truly at the center of our lives. That's the whole point of this conference, and to grow and do that in community. With other students, there's probably going to be around 20,000 people at this conference, so it's going to be massive. Um, but to do that with other students from around the nation and also with students from Georgia Southern so that you can come back and live in community um, and continue what's been started at this conference. So if you want to find out more about any of that, please come talk to myself. My other two teammates will be in the back after Mass. We'd love to meet you, whether you're a parishioner or a student, um, and to yeah, share more with about what God's doing in our lives. So thank you so much for your time. Have a great Sunday. Is there more? Deacon Mark? There is, there is more. All right. right. I, I did skip one. Uh, our soup kitchen uh, date has moved to Saturday, November 26th. Please ignore the date published in the bulletin. Sign up in the North X if you can help. Now I'd like to... Uh, welcome the Little Bethlehem Christian Group, who will be offering religious items made of olive wood to support Christian living in the Holy Land. At this time, I invite them to share the information about the items that you will be able to purchase in the social hall after Mass. Good morning, my dear friends. Good morning. Might be a little bit tired, I understand. I, I promise I'll be very brief to let you enjoy the rest of this beautiful Sunday of our Lord. My name is Nicholas El Sahuri. I'm here today representing the Little Bethlehem Christians, as Deacon said. Uh, just before I say any more, I want to thank sincerely and deeply from the bottom of our hearts, we can't thank him enough, your pastor, Father Adams, not only for inviting us this weekend to be with you all, but for also throughout the years being a very close and kind friend of ours. Also want to thank Deacon and possibly any of you, the parishioners in the past, for your support towards us and towards your brothers and sisters in Christ, and more importantly, for your prayers towards the persecuted Christians in the Holy Land. Usually in the, in the diocese, when we do our mission, my mom or my dad are the spokes, spokespeople, but they told me, they assured me this weekend, you all would be fine if they sent uh, their most <laughs> talented and handsome son in their place. <laughs> Where's not mine? Just, if you've ever been to the Holy Land or the Land of Christ, maybe you might know that we as a Christian community, we've been carving this olive wood for many centuries as a tra tradition that's passed down from St. Francis in the 12th century. And in the past 100 years, this has actually become our main source of income as we rely on the people who are making their pilgrimage to the Holy Land and, and tourists to purchase some of these items. But I think you can imagine with the past couple of decades with the conflicts and especially in the past four years, the tourism there is really so limited and it's down to this day less than 10% of what it used to be, which has left so many of the families desperate and unable to display their beautiful and faith-filled art to the people with strong Catholic faith like you all. This is why our mission here, traveling to the parishes in the United States has become more important than ever, and which is why we're so blessed to be here with you all this weekend, to offer you the opportunity to, to come and just take a look at some of the items in the social hall. Make the small walk for, for the items that made the long distance from, from the Holy Land, and maybe you'll find some things for you or for your loved ones, especially now as we get closer towards Advent season. They make great spiritual gifts carved from the tree of peace, the tree that our Lord and Savior taught us to pray, the Our Father prayer under. And really, at the same time, you'll be helping us maintain our presence and existence in the land of Christ, which is really something that's very important these days. I didn't share this with any other Mass, but just I want to tell you, we as a Christian community, we used to be 20% of the population 100 years ago. And today, they just put out a sentence two years ago that we remain 138,000 from 14 million, which is now less than 1% of the total population there, my friends. So if you can't stop by, the most important thing I want to ask from you is just always to keep in your hearts and in your prayers. Pray for these Christians who are being persecuted in the Holy Land, and please also pray for the Christians who are being persecuted all around the world, too, because really it's such a, a, 
unimaginable tragedy that we are still persecuted for our faith. Just two final things my mom tells me I have to do before I leave the altar. The first one, actually one more thing before it, I want to pray for you all to have a blessed, safe, and holy Advent. And for Father Adams, I want to give him this uh, beautiful icon of St. Matthew the Evangelist. And I also want to tell you, I don't like to say this, but mom tells me I have to remind you, we also do take credit cards for your convenience. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, thank you so much for your patience with me. God bless you, my friends.